All right, guys, for the next couple days, I'm going to be heading out to a bunch of GameStops to take advantage of their sale they've got going on right now. Uh, let's go see if I can get lucky at this first one. All right, well, guys, no dice there. Let's try the next one. All right, guys, nothing crazy. Only thing I ended up picking up was 007 Legends. All right, again, nothing crazy, but just some easy bread and butters. Three copies of Call of Duty 3. Three copies of Call of Duty 3, one on the PS3, two on the 360, and then a copy of Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. All right, guys, got some okay pickups there. Got Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures, Transformers Dark Spark, Wheel of Fortune, and Lego Lord of the Rings. All of it, I mean, they were each less than five bucks. Can't really complain about that. Excellent pickups there. I'll have to go over this in just a bit. Okay, that was the last pickup for the day, and it was two Vita games, which is kind of cool. You don't really see Vita games in the store very often. Got this Sword Art Online game and The Walking Dead Season 1. Then we got Max Payne 3, copy of Bully, Guitar Hero World Tour, Call of Duty 3, and two copies of this Hoggles game. Uh, great deal for 40 bucks. All right, guys, before I go to the next GameStop, I've got a good off-road deal. Xbox 360 with some good games. It says there's potentially a Guitar Hero controller with it. Should be a pretty good deal. I got him down to 80 bucks. Uh, let's go get this thing. Ugh, okay. That was actually a much better pickup than expected. Okay, so the box was not in the posting, so that was cool. And also the guitar was not in the posting. So those are two bonus items. Uh, the games are great. We got GTA 4 Complete, Guitar Hero 3, Rock Band, and unfortunately, this Guitar Hero Van Halen doesn't have the game in it. It just has a random copy of Black Ops 2. So that was pretty disappointing. But it was made up by this Death Smiles still being brand new. I mean, that's just sick. I did not catch that in the photos and just seeing it sealed. I mean, I haven't seen a good sealed 360 game in a long time. So that's awesome. I usually don't get lucky at the GameStops in the mall, but I mean, 11 bucks for X-Men Origins, you can't beat that. All right guys, another offer up deal before I head to the next GameStop. You guys got a bunch of Wii games and GameCube games and a GameCube console. He's willing to sell it all for 160. I'm gonna head over there, check it all out, make sure it's all good, and then uh, this should be a pretty good deal. All right guys, we'll go ahead and go over that lot. It's nothing really too crazy, but the guy did say he had more stuff in storage, so. Kind of worth doing this first deal to see if we can maybe get something better on the second deal. But regardless, I'll go over the game games first. We've got Blood Rain, Tony Hawk 3, Clash of Ninja 2, Resident Evil Remake, uh, disc only for Mario Sunshine. This is just some bootleg case. Tony Hawk's Underground, True Crime, New York, American Wasteland, Crash Ninja Kart, and Day of Reckoning. All that was for the GameCube. For the Wii, we had Mario Wii, Resident Evil Dark Side Chronicles, Smash Brawl, Star Wars Force Unleashed, Tony Hawk's Proving Ground, Raving Rabbids, Case and manual only for Mario Galaxy, House of the Dead 2 and 3, and Mario Kart 8. All of that, as well as the GameCube itself, which uh, had all the cables. The GameCube itself is actually pretty clean, except for the sticker residue and the sticker on the top. I have to clean that up, but otherwise it's actually pretty clean and it comes with all the covers. Um, an, an okay deal for 160. Nothing too crazy there, guys. 20 bucks for Arkham Origins on PS3. Injustice Gods Among Us on 360. Another WWE 13. This is like the seventh or eighth copy I've gotten of this. And then episodes from Liberty City. So this next GameStop I'm going to is called GameStop Planet X. I don't know if it's some sort of naming error on Google Maps or if it is some weird, unique GameStop. Um, I guess we're about to find out. All right, nothing too crazy there, but I did get luckier than most of the time I go to the mall. So, got the Incredible Hulk on 360 and Call of Duty 2 Complete and Minty for 30 bucks. Can't complain about that. All right guys, that seemed like a pretty good score to me. 25 bucks for Blitz the League 2. Apparently this game does extremely well on Amazon. Um, I'll have to check on that more and see if that's legit, but otherwise, uh, no play lo que harme.
Back to back blitz the leagues. I mean, you're not beating that, bro. All right, guys, not a terrible pickup for a mall pickup. Got this MXGP game, does well on Amazon. Got Guitar Hero World Tour. Got another Hot Wheels game. And I got Test Drive Unlimited too. Good pickups. Well, guys, one of the employees at one of the previous GameStops told me if I wanted retro games to come to the Northridge Mall location, and I can't say he was lying because they had the most amount of 360 and PS3 games I've seen at a GameStop in a long time. And because of that, I was able to get 11 games there. Yeah, that was an absolutely fantastic pickup with the best pickup of them all being Guitar Hero Metallica for the 360. Absolutely fantastic pickups there. All right, guys, I went on kind of a scavenger hunt in there, but the only thing I ended up picking up was that Guitar Hero 3 for the Wii. It's an okay pickup, but you know, better than nothing. All right, guys, another okay pickup. Ended up getting Mad World here in downtown. All right, guys, we are going to the last GameStop of the day. Let's see what we got. All right, and that makes our last GameStop purchase for the day. I'll go ahead and go over this once I get back home. All right, guys, so this is everything I got today. I gotta say, GameStop is a great source for games, especially when they are doing their four for 20, four for 40, four for 10 sales. Um, you're able to get just so many games for so cheap. Like the average price of everything here is like six to eight bucks because of the sale. And all of these are, you know, these are great pickups for that, for that low dollar amount. Definitely gonna be hitting up GameStops way more often in the future. Um, I think I went to like, 20 different game stops in the past two days so uh, definitely a lot of driving but really worth it because these were great games and i didn't just i mean this is just what i picked up today um i've already sent off and you know i've got other the other games somewhere else i don't even know where they're at right now but uh yeah that was a that was a busy day guys so anyways thank you guys for watching and uh i'll see you next time